Yonah, Jonah 4. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was very angry. And he prayed unto El Yahuwah, and said, I pray you, O Yahuwah, was not this my saying, when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish, for I knew that you are a gracious El, and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repent you of the evil. Therefore now, O Yahuwah, take, I beseech you, eth my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Then said Yahuwah, Do you well to be angry? So Yonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city, and there made him a kukah, and sat under it in the shadow, till he might see what would become of the city. And Yahuwah Elohim prepared a gourd and made it to come up over Yonah, that it might be a shadow over his head to deliver him from his grief. So Yonah was exceeding glad of the gourd, but Elohim prepared a worm when the morning rose the next day, and it smote at the gourd that it withered. And it came to pass, when the sun did arise, that Elohim prepared a vehement east wind, and the sun beat upon the head of Yonah, that he fainted, and wished at in himself to die, and said, it is better for me to die than to live. And Elohim said to Yonah, Do you well to be angry for the gourd? And he said, I do well to be angry, even unto death. Then said Yahuwah, You have had pity on the gourd, for the which you have not labored neither made it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. And should not I spare Nineveh, that great city, wherein are more than six score thousand persons that cannot discern between their right hand and their left hand, and also much cattle?